Um, what's your take on uh, Army after three weeks? Um, you know, there's definitely still a lot of room, room for improvement. Um, you know, we like to pride ourselves in the fourth quarter, and it's something that we're not, we haven't been proud of the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, so we're always trying, keep trying to still improve uh, finishing games and finishing plays. That's a big part, especially when you play a lot of good opponents, um, especially West Kentucky. You know, UConn beat us in the fourth quarter, and obviously Miami coming up is definitely um, a tough opponent. So, you know, we've just been focusing on trying to get better with finishing um, finishing games. How'd you feel like the starters did in that regard against UConn? Um, we made some plays, but we also made some mistakes. It wasn't perfect by any means. Um, and UConn was still, you know, a well-coached team. They played all the way through the game. And that's something that we have to learn from, and we can't take it we can't try to take advantage of um, in the future. You know, we're not who we think we are and, you know, no teams are just going to give up. So we still have to get in the mindset that we have to finish every game to the final whistle. Other than cleaning up mistakes, how is the defense better than from the start of the year? Um, you know, we're just getting more confident. We're getting, you know, back into football shape and, you know, the right mindset, like how we are and kind of in the middle of the season last year. Um, you know, the beginning of the season is always rough. No matter what side of the ball you're on, there's going to be a lot of mistakes. But, you know, we're trying to take it day by day, um, week by week with a new opponent and just trying to keep improving the little things because that will apply to the grand scheme of uh, the game plan and et cetera. Thank you. Malcolm, I, Ken Kreitzer, SAL Radio. Uh, hey, let's just go back to Saturday for a moment. The uh, fourth and four play that you and Nolan Cockrell stopped for a loss. Uh, that ended the drive that uh, uh, in the first quarter. Tell us a little bit about that play, which on the fourth and four. Um, yes, sir. You know, just by game plan, the quarterback was definitely uh, shifting. We kind of knew that they wanted the ball in his hands. Um, he definitely a runner, gave us some problems kind of scrambling. And, you know, Coach Woody, you know, he's just a genius in kind of what he does. And it was a great play call to just try to get a um, lot of heads to the ball. And I just – seen the quarterback, you know, tuck it with the lead blockers running back. And I just tried to, you know, bring him back after Nolan stuffed it and, and not let him fall forward. Um, just try to drag him back behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Now, looking at uh, Miami, uh, they've, uh, you know, they got three games in. Is there one game that you look at that tend to look at the film in? They played Cincinnati, they had a close loss to Minnesota, and then they scored 42 points against Long Island University this past week. Is there one game that stands out in the in, in watching film uh, shows you, you know, kind of where their where their offense is at? Um, not particularly one game. Um, obviously, each of their opponents are different, but and also they're also a team where you can't look at the record to determine who they are. Um, they played some great opponents, and they finished. They they played through the whole game. They didn't quit at any moment. Um, they're a big, physical, fast, athletic team, and this is not going to be just an easy game where we just think we could go out and try to win. Um, you know, they're definitely an opponent who we, we have to focus on a lot and, you know, just try to focus on the details in order to be prepared to win the game. Yeah. In your position, uh, do you tend to focus on, on looking at the opposing, setting up on the opposing quarterback, what tendencies are? They've got two sophomore quarterbacks, Gabert and Mayer, that they've played. Is, is, is studying the quarterback one of the priorities in reviewing film? Uh, yes, sir. I think that's kind of with, um, you know, most teams or just most uh, positions, especially around the box, even safeties. Um, you just have to know who you're playing, uh, you know, focus on the receivers uh, and quarterbacks and the Miami quarterbacks. They're definitely um, they're definitely good players and they can get problems, you know, running the ball, um, throwing some throws. But they're definitely mobile enough where they can hurt you in whichever way they can. Very good. Thanks, Markel. Malcolm, um, with the, the reserves playing pretty much the second half and even into the second quarter, uh, how much of a physical rest is it for you guys who are starting? And is, there a, is there a physical difference? Do you think you'll feel a little fresher this week? Uh, yes, sir. There's always, um, you know, recovery is always something that you want to take advantage of when you can. But a second half of the game, definitely, you know, the extra 30 minutes is definitely – you know, a good rest time. But um, at the end of the day, I mean, the second the um, backups, you know, they just had to finish the game. You know, it's their turn to shine. And um, we were still over there helping them, you know, giving them knowledge. Because one thing we have over them is definitely the experience part. But, you know, they're still great players. Um, and they're the future of the program. 
once we leave. So we still try to be active in the game and not just lay back and, you know, mind our own business. But uh, the recovery is definitely a big part. We asked the coaches about the reserves getting in and they kind of kept it, you know, closer to that saying, yeah, they had fun. Yeah, they need to clean up their act. But you're, you know, you're with these guys every day. What was their emotional reaction to being able to get quality playing time? What was, you know, what was it like that day, the next day in practice? Um, I think some of them were, you know, definitely surprised. You know, it's their first time, especially uh, playing at Mikey with, you know, a lot of fans there. They haven't really experienced this before. So there was a little bit of shock. Um, but also I think they settled in, especially towards um, like the end of their first drive and even the second drive. They, I think they played hard. Um, as hard as they can. Um, you know, there's always things to fix. Um, even though the starters, we have missed assignments. We we mess up some things. No one ever plays perfect. So I think there's always room for improvement. I just think they're just going to continue to get better day by day. Well, I guess my question should have been more, what was their emotional reaction to getting the opportunity? Was there a, a lot of enthusiasm? Were you guys all happy for each other? That, you know, hey, they got their shot too. Uh, yes, sir. You know, we're always, we're always happy when other people can play and it's not just the start of the whole game. So we were definitely happy for them. Uh, they were happy they got this opportunity. Um, as you know, just not many freshmen or even young guys play at this level of uh, college football. A lot of us starters didn't play our freshman year. So um, it was definitely just a good experience for them. And they, you know, they were happy. They were excited. We were excited for them. So it just all came together. Similar to when you broke in, did you get this sense of hunger? Like, hey, I want to do that again. I want to earn some more playing time. Was that the same process for you? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I started playing my sophomore year. Um, definitely takes time to settle in, but you always want to just go out there and prove yourself every time. Um, even now as a senior, um, there's a lot of other seniors uh, on our roster, me, Eric, Cedric. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to lose that hunger, but I don't think we have just because um, our coaches aren't scared to start someone else over us. So we always have to, you know, prepare to keep keep being hungry and keep pushing because, um, like I said, I mean, we'll mess up. And if we keep doing, our coaches will replace you. So, you know, we just have to keep um, trying to be hungry and keep striving to be great. Thank you. Hey, Malcolm, just just ask you uh, about, were you on the, uh, were you dressed for the 2018 game against Miami? Uh, do you have a memory of that game? Uh, it was an, an as exciting a finish as we've seen at, at Mikey Stadium and Elijah Riley you know, save the day with his tackle on the four yard line. Do you, do you have a memory of that day? Yes, sir. I was on, I was dressed in sweats on the sideline, but I do remember that game. It was definitely a wild game. And I do remember when Elijah Riley came up and um, on the, I think it was what, fourth and short maybe. And he came up and uh, hit, hit the, I think it was a, oh, the running back on the late pass um, before he could get in the end zone or get the first down. So definitely do remember that play. And that was just, you know, as a freshman, that's exciting to see someone you look up to, especially as a corner back then, to see make a play in a big time moment.